A joint situations are closed under composition, precisely if we are given a joint situations fg from a to b and f prime g prime from b to c, then f f prime g prime g is in a joint situation from a to c, as indicated by the following diagram. The unit h for this adjoint situation is given by the composition of eta prime followed by g prime eta f prime. And the co-unit e is given by f epsilon prime g followed by epsilon. The proof is a straightforward verification of the triangle identities. The triangle identity e f f prime c f f prime eta c can be reduced to epsilon f f prime c f on epsilon prime g f f prime c f prime g prime eta f prime c f prime eta c. We use the naturality of the co-unit epsilon prime and make the appropriate substitution to obtain epsilon f f prime c f on eta f prime c epsilon prime f c f prime eta c. Then by the triangle identity for the adjoint situation f prime g prime, we arrive at epsilon f f prime c f eta f prime c, which is the identity on f f prime c by the triangle identity for f g. The other triangle identity is verified in the same way, but this time we use the naturality of eta in the crucial step. So we can see that f f prime g prime g is in a joint situation with the unit and co-unit as defined above. For an alternative proof, and perhaps a simpler proof, we could have also used the equivalent condition of a natural isomorphism of HOM sets, where we have natural isomorphisms in A, B, and C, where the first isomorphism is given by the adjoint situation FG, and the second by the adjoint situation F prime G prime. Then given an amorphism G from F, F prime C to A, by the definitions of the isomorphisms, it gets sent to G prime, G, G, eta, F prime C, eta prime C. And conversely, for a C morphism F from C to G prime G A, it gets sent to epsilon A, F on epsilon prime G A, F prime F, which is equal to epsilon A, F, epsilon prime G A, F, F prime F. And then also G prime on G G eta F prime C, eta prime C is equal to G prime G G, G prime eta F prime C, eta prime C. Therefore, since the isomorphism from left to right is natural and acts by precomposition of g prime a to f prime a to prime, we must have this as a unit. Similarly, going from right to left, it acts by postcomposition by epsilon f epsilon prime g. So this must be the co-unit. And so we have in a joint situation with unit and co-unit as defined in the statement above. And that completes the proof.